Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to do the star stitch. Now this is a very, very easy stitch. Um, as long as you know how to single crochet, I think that you'll be able to do it. Actually, I um, am confident that you can, and I encourage you to try. This stitch is very solid looking, as you can see. So it's useful for pretty much anything that you would like. Here's what the back side looks like. It does not look the same on both sides. Um, but it is very beautiful. Now, one thing with the star stitch, some people do have problems with keeping <clears throat> straight edges. As you can see, I did keep my edges straight. And it all it has to do with going into the turn chain at the end versus the same stitch. So that's just kind of a little trick I'll tell you about in the video. Always at the ends, go into the turn chain and that will help keep your edges more straight. So what do you think? Do you guys want to go ahead and get started? Now this, this yarn will look good, or this particular stitch will look good in any yarn you choose. I've used it in variegated yarns. I've used it in striped yarns. I've used it in solid. So any type of yarn that you have, it looks good and it shows up well. Um, if you look in the comment section below, I made a bag with it out of a variegated yarn. If you want to uh, check that bag out, it will teach you how to do the star stitch in the round versus the back and forth row method, which is most common, which I'll be showing you in this video. Remember, I know it looks, it looks difficult, but it's not, and you can do it. Let's go ahead and get started. It's super pretty, it's super cool, and it makes lots of unique items. Let's do it. Okay, for this particular uh stitch tutorial i am using a lion brand landscapes which is a medium weight number four 100 percent acrylic yarn and the collar that i have here is called coral reef and then for the purpose of the stitch tutorial i'm going to be using a size j which is a six millimeter crochet hook okay so the star stitch um, is done in any even number of stitches that you want so if you want to make a scarf you just uh chain in the you know the width that you'd like or a blanket the width that you'd like so once you get your chain amount and it is in an even number we're going to go ahead and start off by doing a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook now remember we never count the one that's on a hook so one two and that second stitch Let's go ahead and do a single crochet. And then we're gonna work across and we're gonna do one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like this. So row one is one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. All right, so I've made it to the end of a row one. Now the star stitch is a two row repeat. So rows two and three are going to be the repeat rows. So row two is where we're going to do the star stitch part. So we're gonna chain three and turn our work. And we are going to start off by working down this chain. So we're gonna go into the second chain from our hook. So remember, we don't count this one. There's one and two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into it and then we're gonna draw up a loop. So we have two loops on our hook. Now we're gonna go into the third chain of this chain three. Right there. Or the last chain of the chain three like that and draw up a loop. Now we have three loops on our hook. And then we're gonna go into the first stitch of the row, draw up a loop. Got four loops on our hook. We're gonna go into the next stitch of our row. We have five loops on our hook. And then one more time, we're gonna go into the next stitch of our row and we have six loops on our hook. See that? And we're gonna yarn over and go through all six of those loops. 
I always give it a little tug like that. And then we're going to chain one, just like that. Now we're going to start again. Now this is how we're going to do the star stitch for the rest of the row here. So we're going to start off by going into this spot right here. Now this is called the eye of the star. So we're just going to go directly into it and draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into the space between this loop and this loop. And draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into the same space, same stitch that we ended our last star stitch in. So as you can see, we ended it right here. So we're going to go into that same spot and draw up a loop. And now we're going to go into the next stitch and draw up a loop into the next one again and draw up a loop. And now you should have a six loops on your hook. We are going to yarn over and go through all six of those loops. I like to give it a little tug and chain one. And that's what we're going to repeat until we get to the end of the row. So let's do it again. So we're going to go through the eye of the star, which is right here. It's that chain one that we just did. Go directly into it. Sometimes it can get kind of tight, but go directly into it and draw up a loop like that. And then we have to go in between this loop and this loop. Go in, grab your yarn and draw up a loop. Now we have three loops on our hook. And now we're going to go into the same stitch that we ended our last star in. So you can see it's right there. Go into that. Draw up a loop. Now we have a four loops on our hook. And then we're going to go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Five loops on our hook. And then again into the next stitch. Draw up a loop. Six loops on our hook. Yarn over, go through all six loops, give it a tug, and chain one. And there we have another star there. Let's do it again. Are you ready? So we're going to do go into the eye of the star, directly right into it, draw up a loop. We got two loops on our hook. Now we go in between this loop and this loop. I kind of actually just kind of grab this loop right here. and draw up a loop. Now you got three loops on your hook. Now we go into the stitch of our last star went into. Draw up a loop, four loops on our hook. And then we go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, five loops on our hook. Go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, six loops on our hook, yarn over, Go through all six loops, give it a little tug to tighten it up, and chain one. So this is the pattern that I'm going to repeat until we get near the end of the row. I'm going to do it one more time. So we go through the eye of the star, drop a loop, and then we go into this spot right here in between this loop and this loop. I usually kind of just try to grab that loop right there. Draw up a loop, three loops on your hook. Go into the same stitch that our last star went into. Four loops on your hook. Go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. Five loops on your hook. Go into the next stitch. Draw up a loop, six loops on your hook. Yarn over and go through all six loops. Give it a tug and chain one. So I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of row two. All right, I'm coming to the end of row two and this is how we're going to end it. So you can see it appears that we have two stitches left, 
but we're going to be working into this chain space here on the end, the turn chain that we made in the beginning. So let's go ahead and do our last star stitch. So we're going to go to the eye of the star and then this loop right here. And into the same chain space as the last star and into the next stitch and then the one after that. Six loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and go through all six loops. We are going to chain one and we're going to end by putting a half double crochet into the last stitch. It's going to be this turn chain right here. So go ahead and half double into that last turn chain. And that will end row two. So now we're going to start row three by chaining one and turning our work. So we are going to go in single crochet into the first stitch. So this is a half double on the end. Half doubles are kind of weird. So it's actually right here is the top of the half double. It kind of hangs off to the side. So go right into that spot and single crochet. Now we're going to be working in the eyes of the stars. So right here. So we're going to put one single crochet into the first, the first, the eye, the, the eye of the first star. We're just going to put one single crochet in it like that. And now we're going to work two single crochets in the eye of every star until we get to the end of the row. So if you look right, there's the eye. We're going to put two single crochets in it. Only the first one do we just put one single crochet. The rest will get two single crochets in the eyes. I know that sounds kind of weird in the eye of the star, but two singles. And you look and come over next. You can kind of pull it apart and see right there's the eye. Two singles into that spot. And then the next stitch right there. Two singles into that spot. And the eye of the next. So we're not going into this stitch right here because this is part of the star. We're going to the eye of it, the hole right there. Two singles. So I'm going to continue across for row three, putting two single crochets into the eye of each star until I get to the last stitch of our, of our row, just like this. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three. I just put two single crochets into the eye of my last star and I'm going to single crochet into the last stitch. So not this part right here. This is the star, right? This is right here is part of the star. You kind of want to go into that chain space here on the end. Just the best that you can and single crochet into it like that. And that'll end row three. So now we're just going to repeat rows two and three. I'm going to go ahead and do it again one more time. So we're going to repeat row two for row four. So we're going to chain three, turn our work, and we're going to work in the second stitch from our hook. We're going to go in, draw up a loop. Then we're going to go into the next chain space here of this chain three and draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into the very first stitch, draw up a loop, the next stitch, draw up a loop, and then the next stitch and draw up a loop. So that's how we make our first star. We got six loops on our hook, yarn over and go through all six, give it a tug and chain one. Now we're going to work the rest of the stars. So we go into the eye of the star, Draw up a loop and in between this loop, I kind of just try to grab this last loop. Honestly, that's what I do. Seems to work out okay for me. <laughs> and draw up a loop and into the same stitch as our last star went into. Draw up a loop and then into the next stitch 
and in the next one. So you'll have six loops on your hook again. Yarn over and go through all six. Give it a tug. Chain one. Do it again. Go into the eye. Drop. Go into the eye. Drop a loop. And then this last loop here. Drop a loop. The same stitch that our last star went into. Drop a loop. And then the next two stitches, we go into those and drop loops in each of those, that one. And then the next one, six loops on our hook. Yarn over, go through all six, chain one, and repeat until we get to the end of the row. All right, again, I'm coming to the end. So I'm gonna do my last star. The last star is always kinda weird looking, I guess. Go into the eye, drop a loop. Got this last loop here, draw up a loop, go into the stitch of our last star, draw up a loop, and you can see there's a stitch there and a stitch there. Go into that stitch, draw up a loop, and into the next stitch, draw up a loop, six loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through all six, chain one, and we're gonna go ahead and half double crochet into the last stitch of our row. It's kind of a turning chain, kind of like that. Okay, and then we repeat again, um, row three. So we chain one, turn our work, and we're gonna single crochet back into the first stitch, which is this half double crochet, and it's this little spot right here single crochet so we're just repeating row three remember the first star i the first star is the only one that gets one single crochet the rest two single crochets in each eye of the star until we get to the end of the row and when you get to the end of the row it's just one single crochet into the last stitch now you just keep repeating rows two and three until you get it as big as you'd like it to be, whatever you're making. Just like that. And that's what it looks like. All right, after a few, few repeats, this is what it starts to look like. That's a really beautiful stitch, and I hope that you enjoyed my tutorial. And I hope you were able to follow along okay. Um, well, if you make something out of this, you can always show me a picture of what you make on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page or on Instagram. Also, I don't forget to check out the bag I have made out of this stitch, which will show you how to make it in the round as well as this back and forth motion. But um, thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and give me a comment below. You guys have a good day. Bye guys.